I guess I'll pry into your personal affairs. There have been so many stories that you've been like Joe Lewis and that you're broke. Yes, you owe your lawyers two hundred eighty thousand dollars on one hand. Now you talk about buying a Lear Yeah, I'm about gone. I said lease. See, lease. Should we say lease at the end? Yeah, but uh, tax will pay for it anyway. But uh, and what I'm trying to say is that uh, yeah, I'm just about broke. I'm not allowed to work here now in America. I'm not allowed to leave America. I'm not like Joe Lewis. I didn't fight thirteen years. See, I was 29 stuck. fights and won them all. Yeah, but I was I just only had nine title fights. And out of those nine big title fights, my cut was $2 million. My cut, after everybody got After taxed. everything. That was your cut, $2 no, million. Dollars. No, not after everything. This is before taxes. Before taxes. Uh, yeah, after the, my manager was paid, after right. my opponent was paid, the peanut man, the popcorn man, and everybody, my cut was $2 million. <laughs> And out of $2 million, the 10 white men that backed me in Louisville, they made a deal with the government behind my back. I knew nothing about it. Real quick, they made a deal with the government where they would give the government 90% of all my earnings before I got them. This was called the Joe Lewis Law to keep me from uh, being broke, they say. But 90% uh, of my $2 million went to the American government. So that only left me 10% uh, out of $2 million to live on. And out of that, I had to pay 150000 to get rid of my first wife because she wouldn't join my faith. And then uh, naturally, it cost me money to live. So the money's about gone. And not only me, uh, I don't know why people are so confused over one Negro boxer uh, uh, getting low in funds or depleted in funds when America's broke. America's now <laughs> canceling trips and things to save money. So if you know if big, powerful America can get broke, you know a little Negro boxer can get broke. Well, that's true. <laughs>